Okay, to get started you need to put on a command pod. Right now we're just going to do a little one, so it weighs less and you need less fuel to get it up in space. Um, then you put on the parachute. This one's small, so if you're going to use um, bigger command pods, you can do this. See how that just puts one, oh that's pretty big, but you put one on, you can do that. Uh, it symmetrically adds another one, it goes up to eight. <clears throat> but one of these is okay for now. And then, let's see. Put that on, which helps you control your ship. Put on some of these too. Four is okay. These are fuel tanks for um, monopropellant, which is for RCS, which is like little thrusters right here. So even after the, your boosters are all gone, you can still control this. You had a decoupler, which is right. Not there. That's a big one. I need this one. Now, this. Can't put it in yet. Hold on. basically try to have things symmetrical so it's more balanced, not lopsided, center of gravity and all that stuff. Um, this will decouple this part from whatever's underneath it, which in this case is going to be this. That'll be your second stage, but your fir for your first stage, you should put on a couple boosters, solid uh, fuel. And for that, you need another kind of decoupler, which is right here. out there it's just gonna fall over so you can use this thingy which just holds it up let's bring it down then after that you have to properly set up the stages so the first stage is gonna be these letting go and these coming I mean these launching so it, that's good. And then you click space, that'll bring you to the next stage, which is going to be these popping off and this booster um, launching. Then after that, that'll decouple. And then once you're re-entering, you use the parachute. So I'm going to test this.
Okay. <clears throat> you press T to toggle SAS. Um, basically, um, <clears throat> wherever it's at when you enable it, it'll try and keep that point. Like, I'll show you in the air. Um, and you press R to toggle RCS. But at um, low altitudes, it's you don't really need it. So I'm going to turn it off. Shift and control is for the throttle of the liquid engines. Because you can't control the um, burn of the solid um, boosters. So it's uh, for stage two. So, <laughs> space. find it helpful to use Q and E to have the red on the bottom. And a little tip is um, if um, <clears throat> you're spinning around with Q and E, um, you just tap F, or if you're moving with WASD too, just tap F and it'll quickly lock. Um, where this um, little point is onto SAS. And now, I'm probably not in orbit. You can click this to check. Yeah, this is my current trajectory. But you can use the RCS to help you. See, it's the little, those puffs. You should turn it off when you're not, <clears throat> when you don't want to use it, because um, sometimes RCS helps with SAS and it wastes monopropellant. But to go forward, you hold down H. You gotta click this so you can do it in here. I'm just trying to get into orbit if I can. It's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, I think my ship is too heavy for the command pod. Am 
I even moving? Hold on. Okay. Well, it should be doing something. But anyway, I'm going to show you... how to land. You can use this to speed up time. You can't do it while you're throttled up, though. Okay. I don't really know the right time to use um, the parachute. going to stay closed until... Um, I'm actually not sure. But once you get... Yeah, there we go. So we're still going 30 feet per second, which might kill Jebediah. But you can use a monoprop to slow you down even more. Let's just wait till we get a little closer to the land. If anything, I think these might blow up, but he might stay safe. Okay, getting close now. Oh, we did it. Okay, that's the video.